second vlog. I promised you guys for a long time, it's coming, it's here. For this video and specifically, I wanted to really highlight our studio space. The last time I made a video, we kind of finished off as me moving into the space and kind of building it out. So today I'm gonna do a really cool uh, studio tour of our office space in Miami. All right, welcome to the bureau office space. This is where a lot of the really cool magic happens. As you can see, the team's kind of working, so I'm not gonna distract them for too long, but wanted to give you guys a really close-up look at basically how we bring all of the content to life, uh, whether from 3D media down to even photography. Uh, when we moved in here originally, we kind of wanted this to be like the general, off the general photography area, so we'll kind of bring these down and it's kind of more convenient uh, to have at least like just two background colors kind of set up there. Here we have um, our different color backdrops here. So we had to kind of mount this nice little stand here to kind of hold everything down. These metal pipes are actually used for a track slider to kind of make our visuals look super smoothy. We have this really kind of obnoxious looking wall here that we kind of built to separate and create kind of environments. Uh, we've never used this once. Nice little storage area, so we'll store all the computer equipment, wires, cords. We'll have our C-stands right here, sandbags, things like that. So uh, when we are going on set and we're shooting, uh, it's just a quick grab and go kind of situation. But yeah, I mean, this general space is kind of used as a uh, mini production area. We've got a nice little hoop that I think we made from scratch, I don't remember, but when we're doing nothing, we're just hooping all day. I probably use this once too, by the way. Um, almost nothing here gets used every day. I think the most <laughs> used thing here are these desks right here. Um, a very amazing team that's just heads down, grinding, working. This is our senior video editor, Darren, the wizard of After Effects. <laughs> so everybody in the studio kind of leans onto him for all things uh, video editing, te technical kind of questions and asks and things like that. And he's been a really huge help here uh, since we kind of brought him on board. We lead on over here to our, uh, kind of like this is our in-house talent. So we use him for all the production videos, as you can see. He's currently editing a video of himself. This area here, this is our Natasha. She is our video editor, producer. So she helps us on set with a lot of the videos that we kind of work on. She's a little bit shy, so I'll, I'll like kind of, we'll just, there you go. <laughs> that's all we needed to do. But yeah, that's pretty much the team here. Our in-house team so far, everybody who's kind of in the editing scene. Uh, we have, a, again, we have a lot of people that are uh, kind of scattered across the globe. So we have people in Portugal and in Brazil. So yeah, let me kind of show you. Oh, this is our beautiful bureau sign. So we hand painted this ourselves. Blake, what was it? Putty? Was this putty? Huh? This is drywall mud. So we kind of give it, gave, gave it this like brush kind of concrete look and with this bureau metal kind of logo cut out, it looks pretty cool. And it's got this nice little backlight to it too. So kind of makes it kind of pop out a little bit, slash kind of blend in with the overall look and feel of this. Yeah, that's pretty much the open space here. I wanted to show you guys some of the cool artwork here. So we were, we were kind of like trying to figure out what we can use here. And so the team was very kind enough to really put together these really beautiful uh, bureau logo explorations, ranging from 2D to complex illustrations to little 3D floating bees and some like pixelated stuff. Other than that, yeah, I think this pretty much concludes our main studio area. I'm gonna take you guys on over to the kitchen, to our little lounge area that kind of serves as a multi-purpose little room, um, and then take you guys upstairs where pretty much the rest of the team is kind of at, so come on. I was gonna make this area really nice and pretty for you guys too, but I figured we would just show you like what really would happen, so it's not always, you know, this glamorous looking neat like, area or just any working area that just has a lot of traffic like it's just not always as clean and pretty uh, this is like where the all the additional camera equipment is all the additional cords and things like that uh, but as you guys can see here we have a really heavy art like arsenal of gel blasters um, this is not a sponsored video clients here um, these really cool badass little gel blasters here and right here 
is where our, I'll, I'll just kind of bring you guys in here. We'll just show it as is. So initially, um, the space was more so used as a, a showroom. So as you guys know, I, or maybe don't know, but um, I love clothes. I've always been in the fashion industry and uh, always wanted to create like a really like cool, intimate uh, showroom. So stylists can come and basically pull for celebrities, artists, um, events, photo shoots, things like that. And so originally this area was actually used as a uh, clothing showroom, as you guys can see with those garment racks right there. We have a couple brands that are left over from here. We built these nice little garment racks. A couple months in, we decided to kind of scrap the business model. Like it just wasn't working, um, just didn't make sense with the amount of traffic walking in. And uh, it just was another beast to kind of tackle and start up. So now it just uses like a glorified uh, garment rack for it, like all the shoots that we have and things like that. We have this nice little couch here, cool little pillows and just like a really cool relaxing vibe um, to kind of get away from uh, you know if you're stressed out behind the computer or something like that we really encourage everybody on the team to really come down and just at least relax we'll have lunches here and things like that yeah this is pretty much this space here we did the same finish if you see on this wall right here behind percy same kind of uh, concrete kind of brushed look shortly after i'm sure you guys uh, know from my twitter um, I started a company called Same Days and it's essentially delivering modern brands in under two hours or less. So this was our beta testing kind of area. We got a couple storage shelves here so we can uh, essentially test the, the, the service and see if there's a really good product fit and there was. And so now we're kind of focused on branching out and getting a bigger space just to kind of house all this inventory here and uh, focus on expanding this company. Yeah, that's, this is pretty much our space here for all things Same Days. Um, if you guys follow me in here, it's going to be very tight, but this is a nice little kitchen that we kind of put together. Originally, this was literally just storage under stairs and we were like, okay, well, we don't have a kitchen. Kind of overall, like really did this up. Like it was literally nothing when we first got in here and kind of, it's kind of cool how it turned out to be this little mini area where people can come in, grab coffee, grab drinks. Um, snacks whatever so this is our upstairs kind of uh, secondary station here um, that's Jenna right there she holds down the fort she's our studio manager kind of handles all the ins and outs of the studio unfortunately the team grew so big well fortunately the team grew big but unfortunately I couldn't help anybody else and um, eventually we kind of needed to branch out get some additional help um, have this really cool whiteboard here almost serves again no purpose besides like reminding me who is a video editor and who's a graphic designer that's it i think in the studio space like very rarely you use a whiteboard because you have so many digital products that you can use to replace this so it kind of makes us look like we're very proactive and just very productive here put a nice little light to kind of give it that nice accent here yeah got this nice little shelving area so we keep a lot of our client stuff that we shoot here some books that we probably never read <laughs> like we don't the only thing we use literally is our computer area like computers and maybe the coffee machine that's pretty much it this is our intern ozzy who graduated from just running errands to now editing videos this is my desk right here so i also use an external monitor i got this nice macbook pro is Finally, six years later, I had to upgrade, so I got the nicest spec. But yeah, I like to keep my work area here kind of simple, nice little mat right here. Um, put my phone to charge up here, um, and then I have this area where I can put my keys. I'm gonna move our way down to Blake Station here. <laughs> I'll go back. Nice. <laughs> like a soft paint. Very nice. Very nice. Blake, as you guys know, I mean, he did like, he does a majority of our 3D renders here, but we have a bigger 3D render team. So he's just kind of overseeing everybody, uh, being more of a kind of uh, a project manager slash uh, senior 3D designer here. He has probably like uh, the coolest station here. And if you see his little computer here, I always give it a nice little kick. Yeah, it really kicks it. yeah like, because if, look, if I sit down right here, like I'm tall. And so my legs just not, 
<laughs> that was a really strong kid. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But look, you can see all the scuffs on this computer. And this is like a this is like a fifteen thousand dollar computer. Look at my legs just scuffing this thing. Cause like every day, like like my knees would start buckling, so I'll start spazzing and just kick his computer. My bad, bro. Yeah, I mean it's tight, and that's why you know we can only allow so many people to kind of work here. We'd love to have more of our remote team here eventually, but it'll be great to have everybody here one day. But for now, I mean this office space literally does not allow it to so uh, we'll just keep kind of working away the way we are and eventually um, who knows we can kind of move out and get a, a bigger space that pretty much concludes our our office tour space be sure to like and subscribe uh, my instagram got deleted so i'm gonna need all the clout that i can get i will see you guys on the third video hopefully peace